Patricia Sheehan's career can be proudly summed up by the two words on her license plate, Geolady. As one of the first women geologists in Canada to graduate from Carleton University in 1959, Pat has spent a lifetime working in and contributing to the mineral and mining industry. She graduated as a geologist at a time when there were not that many women geologists, and I think that uh, from that perspective she's, uh, you know, a trailblazer and, and has uh, Certainly well known in the industry and very well respected. Oh, she's a very warm hearted person, very friendly, outgoing, easy to get along with. Patricia has a particular penchant for wine and French fries. Perhaps those are her two favorite things. <laughs> Pat worked with the Geological Survey of Canada during the summers while at university. Following graduation, she was offered jobs by Texas Gulf and Selco. Selco was very small, uh, there were actually only five people in the office. They had staff in the field, but I liked them. So I took the job with Selco and I never looked back. They were wonderful. After about three years with Selco, Pat left to have her first child. In those days, mothers usually stayed home, but Pat's talent and passion for research drew her back to work. I started walking down to the mining building, which you referred to on uh, College Street, and I'd go in and look at the different journals and Every so often I saw one that really had merit. So I'd type it, because those days were typewriters. I'd send it to somebody or drop it off at somebody, and it grew. At first, Selco was Pat's only client, but her information service grew, and in 1972, she created Consult International. When she had her information gathering uh, service, uh, specifically on diamonds, so she was a bit of a sort of a human internet search engine, so to speak. At one point, I, you know, when I was sending out by mail, ugh, and Xeroxing the copies, and sometimes they'd be 40 and 50 pages. I'm amazed at actually how she does this, how, how she did it anyway, uh, because previously you had to go to libraries and Xerox stuff, tables of contents. Now it's much easier because things are online. But uh, her initial perseverance was phenomenal. In 1999, Pat donated her life's work to the Mineral Deposit Research Unit's Literature Service at the University of British Columbia. It was two tons of material. And I know it was two tons because they had to pay the shipping costs. Pat has also been a pioneer in her volunteer work with industry organizations. She was one of the first female members of the Engineers Club of Ontario. So she was the first member and the first director and then the first president as a female in that organization which is very good. In the good old days, women went in the back door of any of these men's clubs, which was fine. It didn't bother me in the slightest. If I wanted to be in there, I didn't care which door I went in as long as I got in. At PDAC, Pat has been a director and has served on several committees. She's been the key organizer of the convention's popular diamond sessions for the past 26 years. She was always extremely well organized and in fact, she would have her session put together probably by the end of the first meeting, you know, everything was all lined up. Patricia has served as a director for a number of mining companies, some of which have brought mines into operation. She's also authored or edited many industry articles and journals. Following her nomination by PDAC, Pat became a recipient of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. It's been a totally interesting life and a journey that with no regrets. And I think you know, when somebody can say that, it's kind of rare. <laughs>